Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. I am back with yet another Hunter from the Chalice Dungeon, which is an expansion to Bloodborne, the board game, and he's primed with a gray primer. We're starting off with a brand new uh, skin tone from the Iron Banner called Opal Skin. Opal? Opal? Anyways, Opal Skin. And it's going to be for his face, and I didn't notice he had hair, so I put the skin on there, and I never even noticed until like after I was done. Anyways, not a big deal. And we're moving on now to a Banshee Brown, and this is going to be just for that little scarf around uh, his neck. And actually, I come back to Banshee Brown a little later on because I forgot to use it on something else. Now we're doing a dry brushing using uh, an Army Pioneer uh, basic dry brush if you want to use one of those. And we're just using some Filthy Cape over the gray uh, just to get the highlights out before putting on the um, wash later on. Now we're using some leather brown and this is for the belt around uh, the top of his body. Uh, pretty much that's the only place I'm going to be using this leather brown. Uh, these miniatures from Bloodborne seem to have all browns and grays and very dark. Uh, so it's hard to, to change it up a bit. Now we're using some werewolf fur and it's going to be for the pants. Very simple. Now we're going to be using some Armor Grey, which is a unique paint from Zombie Side Invader, and this I'm going to be using on these uh, braces that he has on his arms. Time for that famous Necromancer cloak, and this is for his top hat, of course. Very simple, nice color, nice coverage, it goes very well with these kind of miniatures. And uh, we're also going to be using that on his gloves as well, and a part of the staff for the actual spear. Even though it's very dark in yarn, I mean, this guy's wearing glasses, and so a little bit of matte black, but I completely messed it up. I should have came back and fixed that. <laughs> it looks like he's got his big blotch of black on his eyes, but you know what? It's not so bad. And here's where I use that Banshee Brown again, just to do the straps on the spear rifle. And then we're going to move on to some plate mail metal. And I'm going to dry brush this on the tip of the weapon. Now we're using the uh, soft skin wash which comes from the new skin tones paint set and that's of course just for the skin and again I love that wash compared to flesh wash. Now we're using dark tone on the entirety of the rest of the miniature. Uh, the highlights from the dry brushing is going to come out, they even a silver and all that so no need to highlight if you don't want to. This will be tabletop ready. I'm not a master class painter so I go for what needs to be done on the table for it to just look good enough for that. Now we're using some matte black again and this is just for the base. Now I forgot to record the next part but I used this uh, Citadel's technical paint. It's like a, um, I don't remember what it's called, I think it's like uh, Mars or something like that. Anyways it crackles a bit so the black comes through and you'll see it here in the last picture. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time.